Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a talk show host who says it like she means it to viewers in over 50 countries. Please welcome Wendy Williams. Thank you. We did the kiss on both cheeks because I know you go out to 50 countries and you're European I'm fans. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> I know. It's like I one know. cheek barely. I, don't, I, I should ask you, how are you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Steven. I tried to get that down. I can't do it. It's I even, okay. I, we even watched the instructional video. Let me, let me try it. Give me one more. Spread the bottom lip, yeah. dim your eyes. How you doing? Uh... <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oh, wait, now hold Go on ahead. now. How you doing? Look, how you doing? That's very good. You and I are, are similar age. We're both over 50. Yeah. This is not so bad. What? No, it's not that bad. Oh, wow. You look, why, why, Miss Williams, you're beautiful. Thank you, Stephen. Mm -hmm. I've waited Do for this moment. <laughs> I will need those back eventually. Have you tried the LASIK? Uh, no, I haven't. I don't want them to shoot lasers in my eyeballs. Well, here's the problem. I'm a little worried about the whole laser, space lasers in the eyeballs. I wear readers and I wear long distance, like when I go to the movies. Yes. But these right here seem very comfortable to me. What they say to me is that your eyes aren't bad enough to get that done yet. Which is a good thing. Like, we still have young eyeballs. Like, his eyeballs are still young. Thank you. <laughs> That's official. That's just, official. Just saying. Now, uh, we were talking with, uh, you know, all through the show about the Super Bowl. Did you, did you watch the Super Bowl? No. Did you watch Lady Gaga? No. You threw some shade at Lady Gaga before the game, and you called her selfish. What? You called her selfish for jumping off that towel, wanted to jump in. Oh, to... oh no, that was before when they were planning the Super Bowl. Well, that's and, what I said. Uh, before and... the Super Bowl, well, you, you know, threw some shade at that, Gaga. That, that... You have to know your shade, Stephen. It was more like oh, I was, I, know shade, I was girl. trying to be captain of security for the country and saying that we have more things to be involved with than the security of Lady Gaga jumping off the, the roof. Uh -huh. Like the Super Bowl is one of our biggest events. I'm familiar with the Super Bowl. So the cops. I so, watch the Super so Bowl. So the cop. Well, I don't, but I do. I read stuff. You and Paul Giamatti, big readers. Come on. And readers. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, you say, you say, uh, I gotta understand shade. No, okay? but what I was saying is though, is that I thought that um, Gaga jumping off and them having to pay attention to her breaking bones and jumping off a building was not as important as protecting us from whatever kind of ne'er do wellers could be around the NRG stadium. Oh, do like it, it, is, uh, they, they would have to take their eye off sort of the terrorist ball if they're looking at Gaga on the wires, is what you're saying. And we could end up with uh, another Bowling Green massacre on our hands. We don't know. We don't know. Now you said, you said when it comes to celebrities, uh, let me get this right, their business is our business. Oh, yes. Does that count for you, too? Because you're a celebrity. Is your business our business? Can you point that laser at your own eyes there? I mean, when it gets flipped my way, I yeah. have to deal with it, but I don't really look at it that way. When because... have you dealt with it? Um... You know, here and there, it's kind of come along a little late in life for me. So I look at myself as a set sider who enjoys a, a pop culture. What's a set sider? Somebody who sits on the side of the set and judges. Oh, oh, okay. Somebody on the sidelines. Like, mm -hmm. Somebody on the sidelines. Uh, one more time. Mm-hmm. Is that you? That is that you throwing shade? Yes. Let me show. Let me compare my shade to your shade. Ready? You want to have a shade off? <laughs> a shade off. Get down here. So you're right. Okay. You 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 throw. You're you making throw me some? nervous. You throw some. I'll throw some. Right? One wrong elbow. Okay. Ready? Okay. Um, she got off her movie set at 2 a.m. Her husband was wondering where she was at 4 a.m. There are three kids at home. They're crying, and yet she's nowhere around. But word is is that she's very close to her co-star. Now I'm not judging. All I'm saying is. See? 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 
Yeah, I see. See? You got game. You got such shade game. I'm Unbelievable. I'm just saying, you know, Stephen, but it's, it's, uh, don't you love, <laughs> don't you love the camera? Like, the camera, if you work it properly, the camera can, okay, you don't have to say one word, you just. That's extraordinary. That should be carved into Mount Rushmore. Or, or, how, or how about this? How about this? Because, you know, I love a teacup. How about this? Look. This would be my tea bag, up and down. I can't do Same. my tea bag on CBS. All right. <laughs> Wendy, lovely to see you. It's love. The Wendy Williams Show airs weekdays. Wendy Williams, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Riley Suspect. <laughs>